installing Laravel Homestead on Windows. First, you'll need to go to Vagrant. While on Vagrant, you want to go and click Download. It'll automatically recognize your operating system. You want to download Windows 64-bit or whatever operating system you're running. Once downloaded, you'll want to run through the installer and then click Finish. This will ask you to restart the system for the configuration changes from Vagrant to take effect. Let's finish the rest of the setup and restart at the end. The next step is going to be installing a virtualization. Let's go with the virtual box. Let's go to Windows Hosts. And when you click that, it will automatically start installing virtual box. Let's open the virtual box installer. Run through the steps. And it's going to give you this warning. Networking feature will reset your network connection and temporarily disconnect you from the network. Proceed with the installation. Click install to begin the installation. If you want to review or change any of your installation settings, click back or click cancel. We'll install. Would you like to install this device software? Yes. Once done, click finish and you're good to go. We have Vagrant and VirtualBox installed. Next, we'll need to restart our computers and then once restarted, We'll have to run these two commands. Once you restart your PC, you'll need to download and install this feature for Windows. It should automatically come up. Let's say the following feature was successfully installed, and you can close out. Next, we'll need to go back to the Laravel Homestead documentation, and we want to copy this command, Vagrant box add Laravel Homestead. You can go to our terminal, confirm we have Vagrant by simply typing in Vagrant. After that, we'll paste in that command, Vagrant box add Laravel slash Homestead. This will take a second the first time to install. First, we'll have to select which virtualization provider we're using. We installed VirtualBox, so we'll say three. Once installed, we can go back to our terminal and create a new Laravel project anywhere. We can CD into our new Laravel project do composer require Laravel slash homestead and then dev. Once installed, we can run this command vendor bin homestead make. On Windows, you have to use double backslashes. Then we can open up this directory in whatever text editor. Just open up your Laravel project. That will automatically create a few files. Homestead.yaml is the important one for now. You'll have your database, which is Homestead, the URL, and then the path to the directory on your Vagrant machine, and then the path to your directory locally. Next, we'll need to go down to our left start area and type in bash. You may have to change your security settings in Windows to be a developer. 
very easy to download Bash. It actually comes with Windows 10. Um, so get Bash, install on Windows if you are not able to see this. After that, you'll now have a Ubuntu or Unix type of terminal. This is important because we need to create our authorization keys. These right here. To do that, you want to be in the user root, just cd squiggly. You're going to want to run this command, ssh keygen-trsa-c, and then whatever your email address is. It will ask you a file to enter the key. You can just press enter. It will create the .ssh directory and it will ask you for a passphrase. If you don't want to enter a passphrase every time, you can just press enter to keep it empty. This will create a new directory with your IDRSA and IDRSA.pub. Now, you can go back to wherever you installed your project and you can say vagrant up provision. The final thing we need to do is update our hosts file so that when we hit this URL, it knows we're talking about this local directory. You can just paste it down here in the bottom left. Open up this, and let's open it up with Notepad. We'll want to copy this IP right here. And we'll want to copy whatever our site name is right here. We'll save that. Then we'll go back to our browser. We'll hit homestead.test. And voila, you have Laravel locally. Now a few notes. Whenever you're in your terminal, to access Vagrant, your virtual machine, within your project, you just have to run Vagrant SSH. And this will SSH into your virtual machine. This is really cool because the PHP version, the MySQL version, and everything else is proper. You have the proper PHP version, the proper MySQL version, the proper PHP extensions, and then Homestead allows you to do a whole bunch of stuff like configure cron jobs. And you can define all of that here. Just going through the documentation, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do. And every time you need to boot up anything, local emails, local cron jobs, local databases, MySQL, MongoDB, um, a web driver for like Laravel Dusk and browser testing, you can just change your homestead.yaml and you can just do vagrant reload provision. And that dash dash provision just says, hey, I want to reload my Vagrant machine with the updates I've made here in my homestead.yaml file. You can also do Vagrant halt, and that will stop your machine. And then once it stops your machine, you can do Vagrant up dash dash provision, and that will restart your Vagrant machine with any of the configuration changes you've made in your homestead. And again, you can always do Vagrant SSH. So if we do Vagrant Provision, second time it won't take nearly as long. And when it is up, you can just go and say, hey, Vagrant SSH. And you'll have everything you need from your server. So guys, that is installing Laravel Homestead on Windows. Separate.